Hey guys, welcome to Hot or Not Thursday. Today we are talking all about Sonia Kashuk products, which a lot of you have asked about. It is one of those brands that you're shopping around at Target and you look at it and you're like, this is drugstore, it seems really nice. And then you look at the price tag and you're like, 20 bucks, no thank you. And maybe you have some curiosity like me of, well, maybe it is really incredible stuff and I'm just needing that extra push to try it because it is more expensive than your average drugstore brands, but it's not quite as expensive as something you would find at say Sephora or Ulta. I picked up a few items from the line a couple of weeks ago and we have some hot products and we have some not hot products. So there is a mix here. It's kind of one of my hot or not hauls. Like I am trying new stuff from a brand and I will tell you what was awesome, what was not awesome. You know the drill, let's just get to business. Let's talk about what I'm holding in my hand right here. This magical palette, everything is matte. These wear really well throughout the day. I just am a big, big fan of this palette. Beautiful colors for under the crease, just gorgeous neutrals that are very soft and not too heavily pigmented so you can get that nice blurred edge. If you do like a color on the edge of your transition, if you're crazy like me and you just build up from intensity to lighter intensity to your brow bone color. This row right here is excellent. I was drawn to this palette because it is extremely neutral. It is called the Neutral Eye Palette. They have different ones. This is palette number two. And I like that you get a gray, a black, a bit of a taupe shade here, but you also get some warmer tones without it being completely a cool palette or a warm palette. It's kind of right in the in-between, which means this will work for so many different skin tones. Another awesome product is the Glow powder this is the chic luminosity and I love this because there's not a lot of shimmer in here this is the answer to those of us that have larger pores that don't want to exaggerate fine lines that don't want things to look so reflective that everyone's like zeroed in on every single pore this is beautiful you can actually take it up on the forehead a little bit on the chin it's just so incredibly soft it does not come off white or chalky whatsoever and it's beautiful it will also set your makeup a little bit as well. So it just sits on the skin really nicely and I love it. Something that I didn't like that much is this concealer right here. I thought it was incredibly expensive for what you get. This is Sand Sable. This is the all covered up concealer. Now this is more targeted for the face. It's a little bit creamier, a little more opaque in coverage, but I just found it to be a little bit slippery and the reason I don't like it is because I like this one so much better. This is such an awesome concealer palette. For the money, you get so much. This is 07 Light. They have a medium and I believe a dark as well. You get three concealer shades in here and a setting powder. So this is great for keeping in the purse, on the go, for travel. You can custom blend these three shades here to match your face because you always want to match your skin tone when you are covering up blemishes on the face. You don't want to highlight them. But then you do get a nice lighter shade here that will be great for correcting under eye circles. So I love the formula. It's very smooth. It's not too heavy. It doesn't crease. It's just, it's good. Let's talk about a few things that I just don't like. So much so that I already got rid of them. I know, I was supposed to film them in this video and I totally forgot and was really angry. I was like, I hate this way this made me look in the trash. I don't like it. And if you would like to see that particular product in action, then I will link below my flawless face routine, which my face is flawless, my brows on the other hand are not. So this brow quad, I thought maybe it would be a dupe for the Anastasia brow pomade, which is awesome by the way, PS. It is a miracle worker for your brows. But I'm looking for something that I can recommend that's not so expensive. So the Sonia Kashuk little brow quad, it's similar in shape to this right here. You get four shades. I believe one is a powder, three are cream. And it's just very waxy, not very pigmented in my opinion. And although I was able to make my brows look okay, it took me like 15 minutes to get there of fussing and like not liking the way one brow hair was sticking up and then trying to fix it and then moving the product and it was like a whole thing. So I'm not a fan of that one. And then the blush I just gave to a girlfriend because not that it's bad, I liked it just fine, but I am honestly hooked on my Makeup Geek blushes right now and I just, I have too many blushes. It didn't impress me. Like it's not, it's not like I didn't like it. I just didn't love it. A lot of people ask about the Sonia Kashuk brushes. Again, I'm going to give a very similar answer to the blush. 
I'm in like, I'm not in love. Can you get a face done with those brushes? Absolutely. Are they good for drugstore? Yes. Are they the best? No. I am very, very picky about brushes. I think it is actually one of the things that you really should invest in, especially when you are talking about your face, cheeks, bronzers, blush. You really want something very soft that's going to distribute pigment beautifully. So I can't give my full thumbs up on the brushes for the face. So there you have that as well. All right, last item is actually something that I've had for more than a year, but I thought, ooh, I have another Sonia Kashuk product that I really love and I should just throw this in and re-recommend it when people are gonna be going and looking for these items here. And that is the Warm Tan Undetectable Cream Bronzer. I don't often reach for cream products, uh, only on very natural days when I'm really not wearing foundation at all. And to be honest, when I'm in front of the camera, I'm wearing foundation. So uh, for natural days, this is fantastic. It sits on the skin beautifully. It gives you a very realistic tan and it's at Target and it's totally affordable and it's a dupe for the Chanel De Soleil tan thing that I can never, I can't pronounce it, but you know what I'm talking about. This is the dupe. All right, so that is it for this week's Sonia Kasha Hot or Not. Thumbs up this video if you enjoy Hot or Not hauls and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.